Yesterday, we incorrectly reported that the Orange team was the only one that had not lost anyone. In fact, Spumwack was part of Team Red, not Team Blue, as we originally reported. Therefore, both Team Blue and Team Orange were fully intact. The actual teams are Team Blue, iJevin, Joe Hills, and Slipgator, Team Red, Spumwack, Hypnotized, and Keralis, Team Orange, Biffa, King Daddy DMAC, and Izuma. Team Pink, Zombie Cleo, Pungence, and Schism. Joe Hills continues his efforts at urban renewal with some exterior decoration of the Iron Foundry, giving it the structural support that, while not necessary in Minecraft, certainly looks much better. King Daddy DMAC continued work on the interior of D. McDonald's, and in his capacity of warden of the new Emerton Jail, he set up a fancy trap for Schism and Pungence what have been leaving their cells freely. Schism was promptly caught in the trap when he accessed a trap chest that was connected to a circuit which dropped him into an obsidian-lined pit. He did manage to return to his jail cell, saying that he wouldn't be escaping again. Slipgator finally completed the main construction on the ribbon, which now extends from the build limit to the bottom of the world. Plans are now in the works to expand his inventory control system and add an automatic mushroom farm. Today in Hermit Draft UHC Episode 6, Team Red suffered a loss as Keralis was killed by being caught in a shrinking world border, leaving it now as the sole survivor of Team Red. Slipgator of Team Blue took damage when a zombie managed to set him on fire. Joe Hills took damage when his horse glitched into a wall. Fortunately for the Blue Team, neither of them is in immediate danger of dying. Team Orange continues to gather resources, finally having a better run of luck in finding diamonds and gold. They appear to be moving in toward Map Center, getting ready for the other teams to arrive. The trial of Schism and Pungence in the case of the Soul in Abba Caving's winnings is expected to begin soon. WFRT News will be covering the trial, however the word is that press will be banned from the courtroom during the proceedings. WFRT News will have updates on the case as they develop. That's the way it is, Monday, May 19th, 2014. Stay tuned to WFRT News for all your Hermitcraft news and reports on social, corporate, and political flatulence as it occurs. <laughs>